Um, so we didn't really mention like um, how like how big thirty is now. <laughs> like, could you explain us like how thirty became that big in a such pe a short period of time? Because like. 30 went big like in like a few years right um yes and, yes. and i think this is the biggest name in town whenever like people mention like audits and security in web3 yeah. so yeah. how did you achieve this kind of growth like in a short uh, period of time yeah sure maybe yeah uh, i can briefly talk about how big we are <laughs> today and, uh, <laughs> and uh, how we 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 became so big uh in a such short period of time so uh, so certainly we are, we, uh, closed our $2 billion valuation round, uh, last year. And we are also the, I believe the 13th unicorn in the web in industry. And, uh, you know, most of these other, uh, big names are very, stay very close to the money, to the cryptocurrency. We are not, we are a solution uh, provider. Uh, uh, and, uh, so kind of like, I would say still we have, we are in a very unique position. And, uh, you mentioned that we are the leading firm in the, auditing space in a cybersecurity space in the Web3 industry. And uh, I know that if you go to coin market, a coin market cap, uh, you can find that, well, among all the uh, audit reports listed there, actually more than 70% uh, came from Certic. And if you go to top 100 projects, you can find that our uh, ratio can be even higher. Uh, top 100, top 200, top 500, and so on. So, uh, in the, uh, in terms of number of clients, so far we have served more than 4,100, 4,100, uh, clients, clients so far. And we have secure more than, uh, $360 billion worth of, uh, uh, cryptocurrency. This is like That's one third of, one portion. third or what, yeah, 25 to 30% of the assets at, in at the, the peak, crypto industry. At the peak time, I would say, around the 15%. Uh, so the, the, the number I use is a peak, peak time. Uh, okay. Right now, the, 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 the price the value got, uh, got dropped. Uh, but uh, you can see that we're still uh, definitely the biggest uh, player uh, in auditing in cybersecurity of uh, Web3. And uh, uh, also, uh, so, but these are, you know, the, the reports listed on coin market cap. According to some third party, uh, starting our market share is something around 30 to 40%. Globally, so that's a uh, high level uh, idea. And uh, how we so how we became so big uh, uh, in such a short period of time, I would say that this uh, it, it, the story is back to uh, the DeFi summer in the year of twenty twenty. So before DeFi, you know, there are not that uh, many real applications on uh, blockchain, and the code uh, relatively, I would say, simple. Uh, uh, and so the, the need for mostly forks, yeah. right? Maybe yeah. most of, uh, most of the ERC 20 token, right? It's just each token <laughs> is, uh, uh, or some forks of existing projects. So the needs are not that big, but, uh, then until the DeFi became really hot, then so, uh, and the DeFi part protocols, right? They use smart contracts to manage, let's say hundreds of millions of dollars and, uh, uh, well, you know, kind of lots of hacks going on. And so on. people realize, well, we need a first, first of all, a much better cybersecurity, uh, technology for DeFi projects. Second, average users who, uh, actively participate in DeFi projects, they want to know things. They want to learn more information about these DeFi projects, not only about the code, but also let's say how the keys are managed, managed right? <laughs> all this kind of stuff. And, uh, and we, I would say, we are the firm that can help, uh, basically, uh, set it, can help pro provide solutions and services, products that satisfy these, uh, needs at that time. And then we, 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 we grow wrinkly. And then that's, uh, I would say that's the story. And then later, you, you can see there are, are bridges, um, uh, and layer two, uh, blockchains, layer one blockchains, more and more, uh, new, uh, developments going on and more and more, uh, risks going on. So this, Space also the sector also uh, became much much bigger. When you become that big, in, like so, so quickly, um, mm. you of course face a lot of like issues, a lot of exploits, mm. a lot of challenges. Like mm. how did you like how how do you overcome mm. these kind of like issues you had personally? I've mm. heard like a lot of people having issues with like uh, projects that were audited in the past mm. by Certic. Mm. Do you think it's like uh, they had issues even being audited by you because like you 
um, mm. you audit such a large amount of projects that sometimes it mm. fails or like, because like you had like some, some, uh, I would say lack of skills, like in very yeah. specific, like, uh, parts of like audits, like, yeah. Yeah. So good, good question. Uh, so first of all, I would say that the people, some people complain of why when there are some issues, not only hacks, but also sometimes got a rock, uh, some project rock or some pro project, they, 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 uh, there's the private key got leaked and so on. Never, uh, they say always the case that when some projects got issues, well, you find out what they are service clients. Uh, so as I mentioned, so we, first of all, we take such a big market share in this industry, like, right? Publicly available, uh, only reports 70% on coin market cap came from Sterling. So we can imagine that. So when bad things happen, well, uh, when kind of like some projects got a, uh, got a issues, instances, I would not say typically hack, but sometimes it got a instances and so on. And, uh, uh, they are probably Sterling's clients then they are definitely have a much bigger chance that they are serving clients than anyone else clients because our market share is so big, much, much bigger than, than any other uh, firms. So this is the uh, first, first thing I want to clarify. Uh, 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 and for example, people say, that, well, look, in the past uh, four years, there are kind of like 20 instances involved starting about only, let's say, five instances involved in that firm. But, uh, you know, come up, uh, our client base are 10 times or even 20 times uh, bigger than, than that, that firm. So it, it's very hard to, to compare. Uh, uh, so also sometimes it's just private key leakage and we all also identify the, the, the key measurement issues in the reports and so on. So it's, it's, uh, it's well, it's kind of like, uh, so it's, it's really you mean hard that sometimes to, to, you, you, sometimes you mm. notice some issues mm. and like the, mm. the team doesn't care basically, but uh, sometimes it happens yeah. or it doesn't. Yeah, I would say that's, yeah. If you go to our audit report, you can find that, well, we always have a section called centralization risks. That like well the key for example um there's they're not managed by 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 modestic and so on or even it's modestic are are these keys managed multi, multiple signatures managed by the same same one or stored on one server that 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 that's, is not a modestic and so on but in many things we can only identify potential issues first of all we may still not uh, be able to tell let's say these keys are stored on one server. That's it. Well, this information are not disclosed to us. Right? This is one thing. Second is that when we give suggestions, you know, many projects, they are in a very, they are just about to launch or they, they are in a rush. Have already launched. Yeah, they are in a rush or they have already launched. They can't, it's very hard for them to, you know, to, to, to change the, 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 the policy and so on. So that's why we will identify these issues in the audit reports and try to dis disclose this information to potential users. Right. That, yeah, that, that, that's what I said. That, uh, the second issue I want to uh, talk about is, uh, you can see that, well, on certic.com, we publish all the audit reports from certic. Not only the audit reports, but uh, we provide uh, much more information about, you know, on-chain activity, off-chain activity. We even provide a secure score to help, you know, every user to have a better understanding of, about the general security or quality of the, the project. Uh, so why we do that? So, uh, actually, to be honest, a very tough decision. We are the first, and I believe still the only uh, auditing firm that uh, publish all the auditing reports. The drawback this of is not is your, if, this is not the case hmm. for uh, of your competitors. This is what you are saying, or uh, yeah, you, if you go to any kind of like uh, auditor, you can find that they may publish some of the reports that they have high confidence or they are proud of, uh, but um, none of them publish all the reports. But certainly, we publish all the reports. It's a very tough decision because in the sense that if we miss anything, even two years later, right, people will identify it and will uh, will will publish it, uh, will tweet it, will tweet about it, will discuss about it, will 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 have lots of crit criticism over us. So this is a very tough decision, and uh, I made this decision in the year of twenty twenty one. Uh, during the DeFi, you know, de during the def DeFi bull run. And the um, uh, reason is I feel like, uh, as I mentioned, the disclosing information and making these mismatches and all other information available to uh, a, a bigger, uh, uh, I would say, a, a broader uh, uh, community is also one of our job, one of our responsibility. So it's very painful. It's very tough. It's very hard. But we insist on doing that. 
So we, we got lots of pressure, as you mentioned. So whenever our client got have instances, first of all, you can easily tell that they are our client. And even if it's not our fault, even if it's not related to the code and so on, there will be discussions on Twitter, right, on Discord, on Telegram groups. Uh, some of them it's will attack the starting and so on. Yeah, it's a part of the game. And, uh, well, this is a trade-off. And I feel like this is if we want to make things transparent, yeah, yeah, this is the bad thing yeah. we have to accept. What what would be interesting is to know like the percentage of like the companies you audited that had issues because like we mentioned that you covered a lot of projects and like whenever like a big project has an issue basically you you audited it most of the time so do you have any like percentage of um, companies that had issues uh, even if they were audited by you or like um, have you been able to compare it properly to your competitors in some ways? Yeah, so good question. So first of all, uh, there are some people doing this kind of like comparison. Uh, uh, so for, as I mentioned, first of all, we publish all the reports. So our data are most accurate. <laughs> we, 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 there's nothing to hide. There's no way that we can hide. And uh, so even in terms of that percentage, you can see that we, we, we serve 4,000 clients and uh, our audits actually are much, also much bigger than that number. And the instances related to us, or and especially the ones that are kind of like our miss, our fault, uh, I would say it's kind of like 20, 30, something like that. So you can see is uh, it's below 1% actually. Uh, but uh, okay. for yeah, other firms, first of all, That's pretty you, you don't have the yeah. full data. You don't have the full data. Uh, and even if you use the partially released data, you can see that uh, actually most of the, the firms, they are either similar or even uh, worse than, than our data. Uh, but uh, there is something I want to note that, first of all, as I mentioned, auditing, our job is to try to find mismatches. It's not like we try to provide a, a 100% security guarantee to the program. And that is why after auditing, we will also do bug bounty and so on. That is a, a platform, I would say, uh, used to help identify issues, right? Code vulnerability and so on. So these, first of all, these two things are different. Many people still mis, uh, misunderstand the, the subtleties, right? Uh, uh, of the differences. That's the first thing. Second, I would say, when you try to do audits, let's say, uh, uh, two audits in, uh, in one month, it's a totally different business than do, let's say, 100 or even 500 audits in a month. Yeah. <laughs> That's quite, Different, yeah. How many people work mm -hmm. at uh, Ceretic? Yeah, so it's uh, more than 200 people. So okay. you know, web, in web test space, most of the company size are pretty small. So we are, we are, we are quite large in terms of number of uh, team members. I have one more tricky question for you regarding mm -hmm. the, the, this aspect. Um, mm -hmm. Would you recommend to projects to be audited by you and your competitors, like in some ways, mm -hmm. like to have multiple mm -hmm. audits? What are the realities of the market? Like when a project mm -hmm. wants to be audited, do, does it get mm -hmm. like audited by one firm mm -hmm. most of the time or by, by multiple? Because I don't really know that personally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I would say that uh, in the current, uh, the best practice that uh, uh, they may, uh, most of the, especially big projects, they will work with several auditors at the same time. Uh, and uh, uh, it's, it's kind of like many big corporates that work with many legal firms and uh, consulting uh, companies and even cutting firms and so on. So I would say that is a kind of best practice. And, uh, and uh, uh, fortunately, right, due to the, 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 you can tell from the market share that many big names, big parties and so on, they will choose Zurich as a default option. Right. When they have this audit re uh, request, I would say, uh, we are the go-to person uh, they will talk to. And uh, they may reach out to some other auditors, different projects have different uh, preferences, but uh, we are kind of like the uh, uh, default option. And I definitely recommend uh, people to choose Cerdic, at least as one of the auditors. And so before we <laughs> mentioned that you have like a, a super growth, like in short period of time, like, how did you manage to scale that quickly? Did AI, like, played uh, uh, in this kind of, like, scaling phase for you? Yeah, so good question. So, especially now after ChatGPT, everyone is talking about AI, right? AI aid code generation and AI aid code auditing. 
and so on. So I can briefly talk, talk about uh, uh, how we scale our technology and uh, my view, right, uh, to this AI-related uh, things. Uh, so first of all, the reason we can scale, we definitely, uh, I would say, get a benefit. Uh, we, we, we are benefited from uh, AI, the development of AI technology within our uh, company. Uh, so as I mentioned, so we, we have seen uh, the biggest uh, portion of the code base in this industry. And, uh, and we have audited them. And uh, you can view this auditing results as what as labeled data. So we have the biggest uh, labeled database with the best quality. And this can help us train the, you know, it's kind of like train the model, online model, and, uh, uh, and get the, 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 the best quality results in terms of, let's say, can help find some uh, code vulnerabilities, can help involve, let's say, our other non-AI-based uh, uh, security technology, like some static analysis, dynamic analysis, and so on, help, help let's say, ch- uh, chewing fine tuning the parameters and, and so on. And uh, uh, also can help us improve the productivity. Uh, like, for example, uh, uh, let's say, gen- for example, generate the summary of the code. Sometimes we need, uh, uh, we, we want to get assistance with AI to help get, get let's say, more user accessible um, uh, description to the project and so on. These are also part of the, the reports, part of the information Right, we provide on, online. So you know, in, in Surgery.com, we we provide not only our our audit reports, but also many information. All right, about uh, as I mentioned, on chain, off chain activities, transactions, and so on. And uh, uh, we are even thinking of how to utilize AI to make this data more accessible to average user. Like, well, you can chat with the uh, bots, right, to 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 learn 